Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture three of our advertisement um, course. We'll talk about creative side of uh, advertisement and of course message strategy. Right, so when we speak of your advertising, it's actually both art and science. So there is also the so-called ROI of effective advertising that is your relevant original and of course your advertisement has to have impact okay now let's take a look at relevant so um in this example here let's just say okay let's read it first you owned a sporting goods uh, store and have keywords for many of the products you sell from swimsuit to golf club to snowboards however all of these keywords are in the same ad group and all ads in that ad group have similar ad text so that is 40 percent of sports equipment so what's the problem now let's say it's june okay and a customer is searching for swimsuit so her search triggers uh, your ad but your ad says sports equipment she is looking for a swimsuit in particular or sports clothing so she doesn't click your ad what's the problem with this so when a customer wants to search for a particular product let's say swimsuit but when uh, they look at your advertisement it's like general advertisement so the customer would definitely lose interest so how will you fix this if you want to show ad text that gets your customers attention so you need to create individual ads or ad groups for each type of equipment you sell and then specific keywords and ad text related to that equipment so how will you do it do it so create an ad groups called swimsuit so it's relevant diba? and then add related keywords like for example bathing suits and bikinis or write specific ad text that's per uh, 40 percent of swimsuits okay so that when they click your advertisement they will see it right away that you are selling swimsuit okay there you go so it has to be relevant your advertisement has to be relevant next is original you know um we there's no denying that okay um we always copy other people's uh you know uh, work but it would be nice if your advertisement would be original so an original ad comprises elements that are rare or surprising or that move away from the obvious and commonplace so the focus is on the uniqueness okay remember that it has to be unique okay or um, unique ideas or features okay that is present in your ad let's take a look at the example of coca-cola commercial um fact or happiness factory let's take a look at this oops sorry hold on again
Okay, so this is an example of an advertisement that is, of course, original. Okay, so there you go. Another is, of course, impact. So it says here that impact-based advertising is a form of advertising designed to have a lasting psychological effect on viewers. So your viewers should remember okay the product or the vendor so there should be a psychological effect wherein you can appeal to their emotion so impact ba based advertising seeks to give users something of value when we speak of something of value something that will give um you know something that is worth okay uh, their attention worth their money all right whether that is entertainment of or information and create of course positive association with the product when you say positive association when they think of a certain uh let's say for example um event or maybe a certain jingle they will remember your product uh like for example of course when you speak when you think of an advertisement that has a lot of who got, okay, you cannot go away from the advertisement of Jollibee. Diba? Kasi mahilig silang mag-advertise ng maraming who got. Okay. What is who got in taga ay in English? Hmm. I-research nyo na lang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, basically, when we speak of the advertisement of uh, Jollibee, they actually appeal to the emotion of the viewers, diba? So, they make use of uh, real-life experiences and drama. So, that's the reason why it's very appealing to the public. All right. So, this is an example of an advertisement that actually has an impact. If you look at the advertisement, of course, uh, you will immediately know, okay, that smoking is not good for babies. Okay. It would affect the growth of the baby, diba? So, uh, for mothers who are pregnant, um, you know, it's not advisable for them to smoke because when they smoke, their babies are affected. All right. Next, let's take a look at your art and science of creative advertising. So there is a big idea. It says here that it implements the advertising strategy so that the message is both attention getting and of course memorable have you ever um you know uh have you ever seen an advertisement wherein it's really attention grabbing it gets your attention and then it's quite memorable you cannot forget it um maybe there were advertisements that you watched on television when you were young or maybe you watch on internet and until now you can still remember it diba? All right, um, so here are some examples of advertisements, okay, of Coca-Cola, again, it's Coca-Cola um, in 2010, okay, it opens happiness, and then 2015, okay, mag-Coke time out tayo, something like that, or share a Coke sa saya. So these are advertisements that are attention-getting, and sometimes these are actually memorable okay you can still remember these advertisements until now okay there you go all right so another is it's also very important that you have a so-called creative leap when you say creative leap uh, you jump from the strategy statement to an original idea that conveys the strategy in an interesting way if you take a look at this um uh, photo here maybe you're thinking what's the connection of the tomato soup or tomato paste with toothpaste with colgate okay so there is a creative leap there because there are two um you know products or two photos there that seems to be 
not related with each other. However, the message that Col uh, Colgate wants to convey is that, okay, most toothpaste cannot fight black after you eat or drink. Okay, so when teeth become more vulnerable to bacteria, Colgate is totally different. It has a unique formula that has antibacterial ingredients that attaches to teeth to protect it for 12 hours after eating and drinking. So that is the message. That is the creative leap that Coca-Cola, uh, Coca-Cola today, sorry, that Colgate wants to convey. Okay, another is, of course, this uh, example here. So if you take a look at this, there's a baby and um, a tire. So Michelin, okay, and the baby seems to be not connected with each other with each other diba? but the message that this tire company wants to convey is that okay um your car okay is safer if you use their tire especially if you have a baby something like that all right okay moving on there is also the so-called uh creative thinking there is free association so it says here it creates the juxtaposition of two seemingly unrelated thoughts when you say juxtaposition this is a fact of two things being seen or placed or close together with contrasting effect diba? so again if you look at this uh, advertisement here anong connection kaya ng 76 na a uh, belt <laughs> and then 76 na panglinis di ba so it's giving a message that you know this belt here with this 76 uh, symbol is actually very strong to support okay you even if you have a huge belly so it also gives a message that these um Detergent here is strong enough to clean whatever surface that you want to clean. Okay. Next, in your creative thinking, there's also divergent. When you see uh, speak of divergent, uh, it means that uh, you tend to be different or develop in different directions so this is an example of a very creative advertisement diba? Uh, for sprite it works on them because um uh, aside from what's this um you know exploring possible alternatives wherein they use it as a shower um thing here <laughs> okay it's very very creative diba? So, there is divergent thinking there. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, next is, there's also analogies and metaphor. When you say analogies, there's a comparison of two things, uh, typically for the purpose of explanation. When we speak naman of metaphor, okay, it's actually a figure of speech or figurative image if you look at the first picture okay it looks like a heart but it's actually shoes okay new balance uh wherein it conveys a message wherein um you know if you exercise it will protect your heart diba? all right uh in our in this other picture here if you look at this uh tomato ketchup so it conveys a message that their um their tomato ketchup really tastes like tomato okay there uh, another picture over here um there is this glove and then the car so it conveys a message that you know you are safe or it's strong also um it's durable yeah and the car is durable 
All right, in this other example here, um, it shows there is this metaphor wherein if you smoke, it's as if you are wasting away. Diba? There. Okay. All right, moving on. Yan. So another is, of course, um, you know, right brain thinking so accordingly if our right brain is our creative brain so um in advertisement you have to be intuitive okay maybe even if you do not verbalize your advertisement it, because you are very creative it really grabs the attention of your uh, viewers and it's also based on uh, or emotion-based thinking. So you appeal to the emotion of your uh, viewers or your customers. All right. Okay, so what is creativity in advertising? So creative concept, there is a big idea that is original and dramatizes the selling points. So the big idea here is your original thinking, which unifies and dramatize the selling point okay all right so the process is having a creative leap that flashes or flash of the insight that unites of course your campaign okay now let's take a look at your creative strategy so where the art and science of advertising come together so again <clears throat> sorry um advertising is an art because you have to have a big idea wherein you have to be creative it is also a science because you need to develop a strategy Okay, so when we speak of your creative strategy, all right, so advert, uh, what the advertisement says, it's also called your message strategy. Okay, and of course, you have to have a creative execution. How will you say that advertisement so that it will grab the attention of your uh, viewers and it will be memorable to your viewers <clears throat> okay moving on let's take a look at your head and heart strategies in advertisements so uh, there are two basic approaches to translate message uh, objective or objectives into strategy so we have here your hard cell so when we speak of your hard cell it touches the mind and creates a response based on logic okay so again it touches the mind it creates a response based on logic so when you speak of hard sell advertisement or hard selling it may be characterized by various techniques that would uh, provoke the consumer maybe even flatter them okay uh, or maybe it place of their fear of missing out like for example in our ex uh, example here if you notice it there is a price it says here 29 to 89 dollars and then uh there is also okay a lifetime breakage a warranty on frame and lens for these so it's as if they are saying that you have to buy now otherwise the price might go up or go yeah it, it might go up something like that and then it uh, in here um they are trying to entice the customers to buy it immediately because it has a lifetime breakage warranty Diba? something like that so in here uh they attempt to convince the buyers to buy the product okay because it is a smart decision yeah uh sometimes also uh, hard selling advertisement focus on limited availability of a particular model okay or maybe they say it's on sale something like that or how people are waiting to purchase 
the product and how price, as I mentioned earlier, might increase if they do not buy the product immediately. So, yan. So, this advertisement, this hard sell advertisement touches the mind and create a response based on logic. Sometimes, they provide information. Yan. Because they touch the mind of the consumers and, uh, yun nga, as, as mentioned here, it creates a response based on logic. So, on the other hand, when we speak of your soft sell, so, in your soft sell advertisement, they use emotional appeal or image or images to create a response. So, the soft sell advertisement is more consultative than hard sell. So, typically, it begins with questioning the prospect uh, buyer. So, the sell salespeople with would sometimes ascertain the buyers need to buy the product based on the answer that they receive uh, what's what else what's uh, soft selling uh, advertisement uh, would especially uh, the salespeople if they use soft selling advertisement they would take time to educate okay the buyers uh, concerns okay when they arise yeah that's an example so in our example here in our photo here they try now to appeal to the emotion of people diba? Uh, to support unicef something like that diba? okay in uh in this another example they want to appeal to the emotion of people Okay, to be against violence, something like that. Okay, so there you go. So this is your soft sell advertisement. In your hard sell advertisement, basically they touch the mind and creates response based on logic. Diba? So the difference with your soft sell is that when you speak of your soft sell, they use actually emotional appeals or sometimes images to create a response okay there you go all right so i think we have an example here let's take a look at this Oops. Sorry, Kuya. Extra syrup mo, Kuya. Kamusta ka, Smo? Okay lang. Kuya, nasmile na siya sa akin. So good in. Ganito. Ganito? Hindi. Kamuti lang. Yan? Simple Joy started 50 pesos with McSaver meals. Okay, so this uh, advertisement is, is actually an old advertisement of McDonald's. Uh, if you notice, it's more of like they appeal to the emotion of the view viewers, diba? So the advertisement basically appeals to the emotion of the viewers wherein they wanted to associate uh, uh, McDonald's with uh, happiness, something like that, with family, okay, diba? Yon, something like that. All right. So, when we speak of your head and heart strategies, most advertising mes messages usually combine uh, these two, the head and heart strategies. So, um, yeah, to reach the head or heart of the consumer. So, what do they do? Maybe they use lectures and drama at the same time. So, lecture, it gives serious instruction verbally. Yan, that is your head strategy and then drama they relies on or they rely sorry on the viewer or viewers to make inferences okay how by appealing to their emotion okay 
Uh huh. Let's take a look at this another example. Okay, in this example, as you can see, there is a certain level of lecture. Um, you know, they, they provided information. And at the same time, there is also a level of dramatization there. Okay. Uh, you know, more on about, uh, more on friendship, something like that. Sharing. Okay. All right. So moving on, let's uh, proceed now to the facets of creative advertising. Uh, creative strategy rather so we have here drive perception and drive cognition so it drives perception when it seeks to grab the attention and awareness of uh, the audience the interest okay of the audience and of course it has to be memorable in our example as you can see okay it grabs the attention of uh, the audience and the awareness we're in okay um you know, they, they provided information on how to visit a certain uh, website, something like that. Yeah. And then it drives cognition. In here, the messages get consumers to learn about the product by focusing on the features of the product. Yeah. And so they focus on the features of the product. So this particular product here is ideal for outdoors diba? so yon all right uh, another facet of creative ad uh, advertisement strategy is that it touches emotions so of, as you can see here there is um no highlight um or it highlights psychological attraction of the product to target audience through emotional responses Okay, there you go. All right, it also persuades customers to buy the product by being appealing. Okay, uh, there is also a selling premise here. And they try now to convince customer or convict customers that their product is the best product to buy. Okay, it's healthy, something like that. And it's very appealing okay there you go okay and then another facet of creative strategy is transforming the product into uh, the brand if you look at this advertisement it's more of like when uh, uh, mcdonald's want to brand itself as you know um uh, a company that provides happiness something like that so image advertising is used to create representation in customers mind so that when customers uh, think of happiness in a box they would remember McDonald's and association so association meaning to say again when they will associate happiness with McDonald's right? 
All right. So it also drives action. So this is a signature that serves to identify the company or brand. It also serves as a call to action if it gives direction to consumers about how to respond. Diba? Yan. All right. So this ends our third lecture. Thank you very much for watching.